everyone. So I've been spending ages, absolute ages, trying to get 2D lighting working in Unity HDRP. I've watched so many tutorials and all of them were missing something from the newer versions. So I'm going to show you how to do it because uh, I figured it out. It took me all morning. Um, it probably shouldn't have and people are going to laugh at me for it taking that long, I'm sure. But let me just show you what I did. So I've got two game objects here. Um, let me just put this back to normal. And this is a very simple scene. Um, this is actually a game I'm working on. I'll show a little bit of footage from it uh, at some point coming up in the future. Um, but as you can see here, this sprite here has full uh, real-time shadows, which is what we want. Um, and this guy does not. And the only difference between the two is one shader, which is very simple, um, and one um, material that uses the shader, and that's it. But there are three gutches that completely screwed me over and I will make sure the same doesn't happen to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here. I've got a little tutorial folder here and I'm going to go to create uh, shader HDRP lit shader graph. Um, I will call this tut underscore shadows, but you can call it whatever you want. And we're going to open it in the shader editor. Let me get rid of this one. And so this is the first thing that was different for me uh, to all tutorials. Um, PBR graph isn't available for me. I'm not sure why. Again, showing I'm a bit of a noob at this, um, but I do know how to get this to work. So we're going to create a new texture 2D up here and we can call it anything here, but we do need to use the main texture space. So I'm just going to call it main texture. Now, when you click on this to actually access the node settings, you want to come over here to the right hand side, press node settings and this reference, we have to change this to main text. This reference is very important. Um, it's how we connect the texture of our actual sprite to the lighting. And we'll drag that in. We will add a sample texture 2D. And with this, we're going to attach that here. And now our texture is in our sample texture. Now the other thing we need is the vertex color. And um, I need to shout out to um, Alan Devs. Uh, YouTuber. I will link him down below because this method is his. I am just stealing it because his video isn't even that old, but all of my buttons look different. <laughs> so I'm I'm trying to update it, maybe. Uh, so let's do multiply. And we're going to multiply the result of our vertex color, which is the lit color of, of the actual, uh, how, how to describe it, plane of our sprite um, with the actual texture. And we're going to plug that into our base color. I'm going to plug the alpha into the alpha. Now, a couple of other things we need to change here. And these are the things that seem to have been updated or changed recently that I got stuck on. Uh, the first one is in here, we've got our graph settings. And in surface options, we have alpha clipping. This needs to be on. If this is not on, it will not work. Um, you can leave it at 0 0.5. That's fine. And that is everything that we need to do in the shader. We can now close this. We save it, save the asset and close. Uh, yes, save. Uh, now we've got our shader up here. We're going to right click and if you right click on a shader, it will create a material with the shader already applied. So we're going to create a material. We, we can call this anything. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to show you something. This here also needs to be on. Um, this alpha clipping setting in the actual material also needs to be on. It is not enough for it to just be on in the shader. This caught me for a little while. Um, and now that that's on, we can go into our shadow sprite. Let's go back to scene view. We can go into our shadow sprite. So this is the one with the shadows on. So if I get rid of him for a second, we've got this guy. Now in his material settings, he has the sprite's default material. If we change this to our shader graph tutorial, he has shadows. It's just done. It just works. Look at that. Now, the last gotcha, so the first gotcha was the uh, alpha clipping in the shader. Make sure that is on. The second gotcha is the alpha clipping in the material. That also has to be on. The third gotcha is right up here, these little three dots. If you change this to debug mode and scroll down, there are shadow settings for the sprite renderer, these two. And if you do not have this on, they will not work. The shadows just won't apply. See? So it doesn't matter how, if your shader and materials are correct, it won't work. So turn this to on, 
it's done. If you want it to also receive shadows from the environment, you can turn that on too. Um, and that's it. That is how to get 2D shadows working in HDRP. Uh, what, what's the date today? It's the 8th of May 2021, so hopefully this will stay relevant for a lot longer than the other videos. I can't believe I found a video from a couple of months ago, really, five months ago, that, that now um, doesn't seem applicable. Um, and if anyone can tell me why I don't have PBR graph um, anywhere, or if it's been removed, or uh, maybe some clarity on that, I would appreciate it. So yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much. Take care. Good luck.